Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of Cinnamon Stitches. I am your yarn host Jennifer and today we're going to have a new yarn release from Premier Yarns. So <clears throat> this is sponsored content in the fact that Premier Yarns sent me this yarn for free um, as a here show this to the world. <laughs> so it's sponsored in that content. Um, now Premier Yarns because I'm an affiliate they from time to time it's almost every month now. They are coming out with new yarns and they're sending me some of the brand new yarns and they want me to show to you guys. And um, this month, they, they wanted to do something a little different so they sent me some free patterns as well. And these patterns, I'm assuming, will be on their website. I'm pretty positive of that. <laughs> so they actually sent it in this cute little... These bags are super cute and as of right now, they're not on their the Premier website that I've seen, but like it would be really cool if they were. And as you see, I got one back there too. So this says, come on, focus. Really? <laughs> right there. Wow. My camera's acting crazy. All right. I was just caught in the moment. <laughs> that made me laugh. All right. It says, but I came back to carry all your things. And this is recycled. The best part of me is made from recycled cotton. So it's this cute little Premier Yarns drawstring bag. It's got a handle here, but it's got like the backpack drawstrings. Super cute. So what is in here is a brand new yarn. And these little things are so cute. They're little tiny balls of yarn. And <clears throat> they also sent me a Knitter's Pride crochet hook, which apparently <laughs> this video like somebody was messing with my settings now i'm gonna say it was a little man so they sent me two stitch markers and a knitter's pride basics four millimeter crochet hook is like a wooden hook i had to go fix my camera somebody pushed a setting that was not supposed to be fixed or is supposed to be fixed tracking and it See, we fixed it now. All right, so they sent me this hook. Premier Yarns just recently started carrying Knitter's Pride crochet hooks and I think knitting needles on their website. So they have a whole new line of crochet hooks and knitting needles. I will link those below if you are curious. Um, so yeah, I thought that was really cool because they don't usually send tools when they send me the, uh, <laughs> the cute little yarns. So these are called Minikins. They're little tiny balls. They're... Thank God they don't have that cardboard inside. You ever get one of those little ones where it's like a little small ball and there's like a whole thing of cardboard in there? I can't stand that. This is not like that. <laughs> it's just a little tiny... It's a ball of yarn with a hole in the middle. <laughs> Alright, so these are skinny yarns. These are skinny yarns. These are number two. Let me get my product release paper. They always send me one of these. It gives me information and it gives me like cool like visual cues for you guys. <laughs> so, and this is way easier to read than these little labels. Because, rest assured, I have an eye doctor appointment. I'm going to go get myself some new glasses. We're going to be able to see soon, okay? So, <clears throat> this is a cotton acrylic blend. And they sent me all of these cute little colors. These are... 50 gram balls, but they are 158 yards. They are number two weight, so they're they're skinny yarns, but they're beautiful. Like these colors are gorgeous. Now the pattern that they sent me to do, they sent me two patterns. They sent me patterns for Amigurumi for these little skinny yarns, <laughs> which is fine. We're gonna try it out. There's no guarantee that the, <laughs> the Amigurumi are gonna work out for me because eyesight and issues, okay? So, but we're gonna, we're gonna try it out. So let's see, it says, who says good things don't come in little small packages, right? These adorable 50 gram balls are perfect for the crafter in your life. The cool comfort of cotton and the light, light bounce, not lice, <laughs> the light bounce of acrylic make for a perfect year-round yarn. Slow down. All right. The light twist, there's a light twist apparently. 
I haven't really examined these too much. These are soft, um, in my opinion. Even though these look like they're geared towards making amigurumi, like I would make baby items out of this yarn because it's really, really soft. Or like a really nice lightweight shawl. Um, the light twist gives it a great stitch definition in projects that won't sag out of shape. The ideal yarn for amigurumi, granny squares or crafts, where only small amounts of color are needed. Combine several mini skeins for colorful baby blankets, shawls, hats, scarves, and more available in 42 colors. And I read something on this, and I didn't read it here, so I don't know where I read it at. Maybe it was the email that I got. It's talking about how the drape of this yarn is amazing, which is why I think it's kind of wasted on Amigurumi, but they want me to make Amigurumi. I'll make Amigurumi. <laughs> I'll try. I don't know that I'm going to make this mermaid. They sent me this pattern. Um... Um, like I said, these are probably going to be on their website for free. I don't know that I'm going to make her just because there's a lot of little parts to her and I'm not a big fan of doing amigurumi anyway. The pattern is adorable, but I've never made an amigurumi that is a humanoid. <laughs> so, and I did read over this pattern a little bit and I was like, ooh, that's a lot of little pieces. So I think what we're going to do is, because they sent me two patterns, they sent me two patterns. I think what I'm going to make is the little whale, or maybe a couple of little fishies, because he's really cute, and he's he looks like he's not too incredibly hard, whereas the mermaid has lots of, if you like amigurumi, you're going to love this pattern, but I'm not a big fan of that, so I think I'm going to make some little fishies, and maybe, because on the back, they have all these sea creatures, they have the, the little fish, they have the mermaid, they have a seahorse. They have a little crab. Like, I can see making the little sea creatures because I like making sea creatures. Um, but also, like, I kind of want to make, like, a little thing for my neck in some of this yarn because it's so soft. Like a little lightweight shawlette or something. And th look at these colors. <laughs> okay. Oh, like, look at that. Okay, these three would be beautiful together. And then these three are beautiful together. You know, and I can make any of these into fish. This would make a really cute sea star. Or a sand dollar. I wonder if I can make a sand dollar. <laughs> I'm going to have to think about that one. I know that I can logistically. I know that I can. Oh, this would be a cute sand dollar. So anyway. <laughs> new patterns. New yarns. Let's talk about the yarn, right? Like I told you already, it's 50 cotton, 50 acrylic. It's 158 yards. Um, this is the color grape very accurate it's a little more pinky than what's showing up on my camera we can probably fix that yeah that's more accurate so that's grape and then we have the color dungarees which is like blue jeans well it's darker than blue jeans then this one is lilac that's not accurate. That's accurate. There we go. And then shell. The color shell. Which, I mean, if we're making sea creatures, the, per the color shell is perfect. And it's not quite... I mean, it's a little... It's got a little tiny pink. This, this is more accurate. There's a little tiny pink to the creaminess color. Come on. It's just a little hint of pink. And then this one is sea foam. And then this one is ice blue. Those would even go pretty together. So now I'm getting ideas. <laughs> These colors are so pretty. They're so pretty. And this yarn is super soft. So, yeah, these are new. And these, I think, I think these are $2.99. Let me double check my email because I do have an email with this information in it. Let's see if I can find it. I have so many emails 
talking back and forth from me and Premier. It's like, okay, I got to fish through them. And you know, I really like to have, be prepared for the videos, but I rarely am. <laughs> I rarely am. Maybe I'm searching for the wrong word. There we go. There we go. Two ninety nine. Yep, these will be two ninety nine each for these little cuties things. And like I said, they're really, really soft. This one's already kind of falling apart, so we're just gonna take the label off. Since I'm working these in projects together. Oh yeah. It's really soft. <laughs> and I want to say that this reminds me of, but it doesn't. The, the shape of the ball reminds me of the Cotton Fair, like the way they did the Cotton Fair, but this is like, Cotton Fair has a little more of a sheen to it, and this is just like, it's so soft. I wish you guys could feel this. It's so soft. It almost feels like a micro acrylic. There's like no like rough cottoniness to it at all. It's like that real soft buttery cotton that you guys, you know what I'm talking about, is really, really soft. All right, so, is there any other information in here? It says, combine several mini skeins for colorful baby blankets, shawls, hats, and more. It is available in 42 fun colors. Is that what that other paper said? That's not 42, is it? Yeah, 42 color. Okay, here's the colors it's available in. Since I didn't show you the other side of the page. <laughs> Look at all these fun colors. They have lots of like fleshy tone colors. That's upside down. So they have like lighter skinned colors and then like different colored skin other than the light peachy colors, the more natural skin tones. And then they have all of the colors of the rainbow. It's so pretty. And, and what's cool is like the past couple times I was looking for a rainbow of yarns, like I wanted a rainbow of yarns. I was having a hard time because they had like one shade of red. This has like several shades of red, which is fantastic. There's brick and punch and candy apple. You have several shades of pink. They have two, two shades of purple. <laughs> These are the only two shades of purple they have. And then they have one, two, three, four, five, six. Six sh true shades of blue, and then two that are like could be blue or green. And then they have one, two, three of green. Like I said, they have tons of the different skin tones. So if you want to make that mermaid any way you want to make her look, you want her to look like your daughter or your niece or your grandbaby, lots of options, which I think is fantastic. Brunette. <clears throat> nutmeg i really like i really like this deep sea color that's beautiful look at all the colors of the rainbow that's pumpkin it's almost coming up red on my screen so yeah look at that these are super cute and they're super fun so the next part of this video this video not video <laughs> is going to be whatever I worked up with this yarn. So stay tuned for that. And I will be back in two shakes of a dog tail and show you what I made with these little cute yarns. All right, we are back with the Minikins reveal. <laughs> now, back here I got Annie, and I'm going to show her what I made. <clears throat> She's all sat up because I was doing some photographs for the Instagram and for Premier Yarns. I wanted to show them what I was working on. So first, I did follow the pattern for the little whale, but <clears throat> in true cinnamon stitches fi um, files, yeah. In true cinnamon stitch stitches fashion, what did I do with the patterns? I changed up, <clears throat> I changed up the pattern to my own needs and desires, <laughs> which I do all the time. So I made the whale. I changed his tail and I did not do the blowhole because I was not a big fan of the way the blowhole looked. Um, personal preference. You can make a blowhole if you want. And like It's all good. But I made this little... I wanted him to look like Monstro a little bit from Pinocchio. <laughs> so 
So I actually, to give him more whale eyes, I used noses instead of eyeballs. His little tail. His little tail's so cute. There, now we see everything in one shot, maybe. That's my little whale. Little man has been asking me for medicine capsules. So basically the whale is a medicine capsule. <laughs> I haven't got around to making him a medicine capsule yet though. He wants them for his doctor kit because he saw them on TV so he wants little pill stuffies. This kid. So I used a four millimeter hook. The pattern, where is the, what did I do? You guys saw, I just had it. What did I do with it? I'm telling you, I would lose my head if it wasn't a tag. I have no idea where I put it. I'm sure you guys saw where I put it. I don't know where I put the pattern. <laughs> the pattern, I believe, called for... I was looking at the wrong side of the paper. The, the pattern called for... 2.25 uh, millimeter hook. I used a 4 millimeter hook because that's what they put in the bag. They They... They gave me a four millimeter hook to try. I did not try this hook because I'm not a big fan of wood hooks. I also don't like the little stick hooks. Um, personal preference. I have arthritis in my hands. I have issues with my hands. So we, we use the big bulbous handles. But I did use a four millimeter hook even though the pattern said 2.25 millimeter hook. And it worked out just fine. Um, the yarn, a little tiny bit splitty. Real talk, a little tiny bit splitty. Um, but I was also pulling the stitches real tight because it's an amigurumi. Like, you don't want to see gaps through the the yarn. So, like, that may have lent to it being a little more splitty as well. But, yep, Monstro is done. He's cute, his little tail. I love his little tail. I just kept crocheting in the round here. And then I expanded on these sides only. So I put a whole bunch of extra stitches on this side so it flared out. And then I decreased in the center stitches and then I just pinched it closed. <laughs> Easy peasy. You can tell he's a whale. So I made that for my little baby girl Annie. Now the other pattern they sent me for this yarn was a mermaid. And I have mentioned in recent videos I'm having problems with my vision. Don't worry I'm going to the doctor. It's not a big deal. But look. Okay. So they do. They are going to be having this pattern on their website as well and i think i already gave you all the information on the yarn i think it's going to be 2.99 a ball which is not bad look let me double check let me double check before i say that um minikins let's see 50 gram ball 42 fun and playful colors $2.99 each. So yeah, I mean, that's a lot of colors to choose from. But <clears throat> Amigurumi is not going to be my first choice for this yarn because I'm not a big fan of Amigurumi. However, it makes beautiful garments, okay? So because we were going for like the mermaid thing, because they put a mermaid pattern in there, I made a mermaid theme little dress for Annie. Annie is my baby. <laughs> And she's got her bracelet all ready to go. Juju made her a little bracelet when I first got her. So I made this little baby dress. This is not a pattern. She's got like a little white t-shirt on underneath. Because like you can see her neck seams and stuff where her fabric body is. So I just put a white t-shirt on underneath her. But isn't this the cutest little mermaid-esque dress? Now I went for the purple and teal colors. Because the little mermaid. You guys know I'm a Disney fanatic. Okay. And I just made her a cute little baby dress. And I put a sand dollar on the chest and then I threw some of this yarn in my little knitting machine the little one and made a cute little headband for her is this not the cutest outfit ever <laughs> so we got baby Annie as a mermaid with her little whale friend and so we did a little photo shoot in here I got my table I had some props and stuff and so I put up a background for her and everything and I brought out my photographer my photographer bloodline and I was like hey let's do this but isn't this the cutest little thing this worked up so nice in a garment I 
like when I was working up the whale, I was like, this yarn is soft, okay? It's thin, but it's soft. And I know some of you hate thin yarns. Not me. I like thin yarns. <laughs> I like the way they feel. I like the way they work up. This dress took me maybe six hours, maybe, um, just because I was designing while I was making it. If I had had the, the, the plan out already, it probably would have only taken me four hours to crochet top to bottom, including the cute little starfish, which took about five minutes. Or not starfish. Sand dollar. It's a sand dollar. <laughs> it's not the best sand dollar. The pattern I found for sand dollar was like kind of messed up. So I'm like, you know what? We're just going to wing this. <laughs> like we do here <laughs> and so it works it's got a beautiful like soft it it feels like it feels like the cotton sprout and it's not cotton is it yes it is it's 50 cotton 50 acrylic I forgot it feels like the cotton sprout it feels really nice if you worked with the cotton sprout you will know this is a nice yarn it's got a nice feel to it. it's got a nice softness and drape to it where are the washing? Machine wash, cold, lay flat to dry. I mean, special occasion baby dresses, definitely. I would make a top out of this, no problem. I would make scarves, shawls, anything out of this yarn. Baby items, as long as it's like a special occasion baby item, because we all know, you make that baby dress for that baby, that baby's gonna wear it one time, probably for pictures, and then it's gonna get put in a bag somewhere. <laughs> You know that's going to happen, okay? You can't have washed that item once. <laughs> you already know. Because I've made baby items for so many people, and I've either never seen it on their baby, not once, or I've seen it on their baby for pictures, and then they store it away for a keepsake for, I don't know, <laughs> whatever occasion. But, beautiful. It worked up so good in my knitting machine. Like, I had no problems in the knitting machine with it. It crocheted up beautiful it, and it just feels really nice on baby it feels it's so cute i'm so proud of this outfit <laughs> the whale eh the whale was cute it was fun and annie will it's it looked really cute in the pictures with her holding the little whale it looks so cute um i those pictures will be on instagram promise um but yeah i set up a little photo shoot with her she's so cute oh my god i love my little baby doll and she smells good she sent it <laughs> She smells like a real baby. So that's what we made with the minikins. Do I recommend the minikins yarn after using them? Yes, I do. Um, I'm just setting Annie back here again. Hi, Bentley. I, I'm not a big fan of it for Amigurumi. I'm just going to be real honest. And I know that that's what they are marketing it towards for Amigurumi. But if you like Amigurumi and you like doing those little tiny stitches, you will probably like this yarn. I personally, I loved it for the baby dress. I And the whole time I was working on me groomy, I was thinking, I wish I was making a shawlette, like a little cute little shawlette for your, um, for around your neck, you know? How many yards did I say this was? 158. And I like, and I know, I know I'm gonna get some things, some people saying, I don't I don't like the small packaging okay this is 158 yards some sometimes you get like a bulky yarn it's only 90 yards you know so <laughs> I mean it's not a big deal but I like that it's the small packaging and the reason I got excited when I saw this is because a it feels nice but b I was like okay but I like mixing colors and projects I like stripes I like I like I just like I like color in my projects and so for me, the fact that they matched all the colors up, that they intertwined with each other. Now, I used up all of this color right here, which was a beautiful, beautiful color. Um, and I have enough left over after making that baby outfit and making the little whale. I have enough left over to make myself like a little shawlette to go around my neck or like a nice scarf or something. I just think it's really good yarn. And I like the small packaging because you can mix the colors together. You can get a whole bunch of colors and just mix them together in a project. Make like a striping shawl, make a stripy scarf, make a stripy cardigan. <laughs> you could totally make this cardigan. By the way, I know I'm gonna be asked, this is the Tulip Cardigan. It is a Premier Yarns pattern. This is also a Premier Yarn. It is the, um, 
the Batik yarn. Not the Cotton Batik, but the other one. The DK Batik, the DK Colors Batik, I think it's called. What is this yarn called? I will link everything below, including the tutorial that Premier Yarn so generously let me do on their pattern, which is the Tulip Cardi. I've been getting a lot of buzz going on. Every time I wear this, people are like, what are you wearing? I need that. <laughs> it's the Tulip Cardi from Premier Yarns. Thank you very much. Not my pattern. I didn't write it, but I did do a tutorial on it. So you could totally make this cardigan out of these. So just saying, just saying. I think I think this took two or three balls or, or cakes of the batik yarn. So I'm like maybe 10, 10 of these little balls. You can make a beautiful cardigan. But yeah, I'm definitely going to work some more things up with this. I might throw it in my knitting machine and make like a really nice scarf again because worked up beautifully it worked up beautifully in the knitting machine but it also crocheted like really good with the exception of a little bit of splitting when i was using really tight stitches so yeah check out minikins thank you so much premier yarns for including me in all of these these yarn launches like it is so fun to do a yarn launch i'm just telling you they send me these boxes or these little packages with the cute little treats and stuff in there and then they send me new yarns that I get to experience before the rest of the world and it makes me feel so special and so happy and I like that they give me the freedom to say what I want in my videos they don't restrict me they're like hey just let the people know about your your experience with the yarn and I'm like all right cool like I got this <laughs> And this is the first time they actually sent me patterns that they wanted me to work with. And they didn't they didn't require it. Like they said, hey, if you want, here's some patterns to go with it. Like, let's show. This mermaid is really cute if you like doing amigurumi. It's not my particular thing. So we went a little bit bigger, especially because I can't see. Like, I really struggled seeing the whale. So I was like, I'm not going to torture myself. And Premier Yarns was like, that's cool. Take care of yourself. Take care of your vision. <laughs> That's exactly the response I got. Take care of your vision. It's important. So, you know, Annie and her little whale, Monstro. I, we gotta call him something smaller than Monstro because Monstro means big, giant whale. He's a little tiny whale. So we gotta think of a name for him that's not Monstro. You guys help me out. Put in the comments below what you think the little baby whale should be named. So that's Annie the mermaid and her little friend something or another you guys let me know <laughs> it could be tiny or teensy or um whatever we'll put comments below we'll make this a fun video and um thank you so much for watching thank you to premiere for for sending me the yarn for this video and check out minikins they're really cute they're really soft they make beautiful garments and they make really cute amigurumi and so yeah I'm going to let you go, and I will see you in the next one. Bye, guys.